Hello and welcome to Set for Smash Move Set Concept. In case you didn't know, I recently did an update video of what's happening with the channel. If you haven't checked it out, I mentioned that I just went through a few new changes within the channel. One of which is a complete new overhaul look on Set for Smash's design. You'll be noticing a slight new look with a lot of different designs. Move set wise, a lot of this will be fairly the same. Well, with the exception of this fighter pass, as we're now entering our fourth fighter pass, which will be entirely dedicated to Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. And I've decided to choose five different Pokemon in all likelihoods that may or may not join the battle, with the first one you'll be seeing be my less likely choice and the fifth one being the most likely to join the battle. Any guesses who you think they are? Leave it down in the comments below. So without further ado, let's show you our first character joining the battle. For our first of five Pokemon characters, it's none other than Grafaii. Grafaii is known as the Toxic Monkey Pokemon. Grafaii is also one of the first Pokemon to ever have a Poison Normal typing, revealed back in late August of 2022 as one of the new Pokemon that specializes in painting its territory. Being of course referencing the Aiai, a species of lemur. In all honesty, I can only see Grafaii really working as an assist character. But throughout my entire playthrough of Pokemon Scarlet, Grafaii has been actually my go-to partner throughout my journey, that I feel like it would be unjust if I didn't really let him join the battle. Though Grafaii isn't the first official poison type in Smash Brothers, he will be using his poison-based typing more useful than Ivysaur. So let's see if Grafaii can leave his mark in Smash Brothers. With the details out of the way, I want to actually start off by mentioning this throughout the rest of these moveset concepts with Fighter Pass number 4. I will not be talking about the series symbol or the victory theme for the franchise, mostly because that has fairly stayed the same throughout the entirety of the franchise as a whole. So I will be excluding these until we get to Fighter Pass 5. Now onto his height, Grafaii is a fairly small Pokemon, being on height as similar to the smallest other Pokemon in battle, Pichu. Not to mention his stats are not as very friendly as a lot of the other characters, having a very light weight, very fast speed but also having below average knockback as well as weak attack and defense. Though he does have two very high jumps and being able to wall jump and wall cling, Grafaii doesn't seem like the very combat heavy character, but that's going more into his moveset and you'll understand why. When entering a stage, Grafaii will actually appear from the tall grass like a wild Pokemon. And of course, being a Pokemon moveset concept, I always have to think of something really creative with a lot of their designs as well as their unique gimmicks. So for the taunts, his first is fairly easy as he starts wiping the ground with his painted finger, as that is the one thing that Grafaia is really well known for. For his second taunt, Grafaia actually shakes his finger and the paint on his finger stretches out and back up, similar to a yo-yo. And for his third taunt, he actually sneezes a little poison out of his mouth. And as a little fun little attribute, if a little bit of that poison gets near a foe, they actually take a little bit of damage. For the color palettes, his first is his default design with the black hoodie, while the rest of his color palettes are actually based off other well-known poison type Pokemon, with his first being based off of the iconic Grimer, palette 3 being based off Alolan Grimer, palette 4 being based off Zubat, palette 5 being based off Crobat, palette 6 being based off Skunk Tank, palette 7 being based off Toxicroak, and finally, Palette 8 being based off Toxtricity. For his victory animations, yet again, his first will have him painting on the ground as if marking his territory. I mean, he did actually win a battle, so obviously he claims this part of Smash. For his second victory animation, he puts his finger in his mouth and then takes it out, and then looks at the camera. For those who don't know, the poison fingers on Grafaihai's hands are actually berry juices from different types of berries. And finally, for his third victory animation, the camera spooks Grafaihai and he starts painting at the screen. The painted marks will only appear on the bottom left, next to the foes who've been defeated. Moving on to Grafaii's standard attacks, his jab will be a one finger slash and then he'll do a barrage of slashes with his finger, as if he's trying to paint something really quickly. For his dash attack, he'll do a jumping X slash, similar to the move X scissor, even though Grafaii cannot learn that attack. His side tilt is similar to his animation where he does a single finger slash. His up tilt is a double finger uppercut, and now that I look at the image, it looks a little inappropriate. For his down tilt, he actually flicks his finger, causing a little bit of paint to fly a little upward. For Grafaii's side smash, it'll be similar to the move Poison Jab, where Grafaii will jab his pointing finger with poison at the front. This move will also have an extra attribute, but I'll get to that later. For Grafaii's up smash, he'll have an animation similar to Diddy Kong. For Grafaii's down smash, he'll actually spin while his finger is painting the ground, causing paint to spin all around him. For Grafaii's standard aerial, he'll do a circular slash. 
For his forward aerial, he'll actually swipe up to three times, similar to the move Fury swipes. His back aerial will be a backslash. His up aerial is a upward forward crescent slash. And for his down aerial, he'll swipe under him, similar to Fury swipe. For his grabs, Grafia will grab his foes one-handed, and for his pummel, he'll start biting them. For his forward throw, he jabs the opponent right in the stomach. Instead of getting sent flying, they actually fall downward. This one is more based off the reference of the poison jab from the Pokemon anime. For his back throw, he climbs on the opponent's back and then jumps off of him. For his up throw, he actually smacks him upward with his tail, similar to an uppercut. And for his down throw, he shoots poison right from his mouth at the opponent. Moving on to Grafia's special attacks, starting of course with his standard special, which is his signature move, Doodle. Though in the game, Doodle actually took the ability of the character, but I made it a little more different in Smash Brothers. Instead, when Grafia uses Doodle, you can charge it up and then he'll do a multitude of slash with paint. If an opponent gets hit by the slashes, they'll get paint on them as well. Working similarly to Inkling's moveset, for the Kirby hat, Kirby will actually have the Grafia hoodie with the ears as well as its hair. For Grafia's side special, it's one of the most powerful poison type moves in the game, Gunk Shot. By holding side B, you can actually even charge the Gunk Shot. Grafia will shoot a ball of poison in an upward arc. If it hits a foe, a brand new ailment will be added into Smash Brothers, which I like to call the Poison Ailment. This move only works if it hits the target on point. You'll see a little bit of purple all around the opponent, as well as the number on their attack damage meter change a different color, a dark purple. This will show that your opponents have been poisoned by your attacks. This also leads to another important thing about Grafia, and that's his ability, which is Poison Touch. Being an ability that a lot of Poison-type Pokémon have, if a Pokémon is hit with a Poison move, they are given a Poison ailment. So moves like Grafia's Side Smash will actually do Poison damage. The only thing is, you can only get Poison damage in a sweet spot, at the very edge of the finger. However, if Gunk Shot fails to hit an opponent, Instead, it'll leave a pool of poison on the ground. If a character happens to stand on it, they will get slightly damaged. For Grafia's up special, I decided to go with Acrobatics. This works on two different levels. One, this is a move that Grafia can learn thanks to a TM. And secondly, it makes sense considering that monkeys are really acrobatic. So, Grafia does a somersault and an upward diagonal. However, if an opponent happens to be near the very end of the somersault, Grafia can hang on to them and then do a move similar to Poison Fang and bite the opponent. Of course, giving him yet again the Poison Ailment. But if no one happens to be near, Grafia will go straight into Free Fall. Working similarly to the up special of Ganondorf and Captain Falcon. And for his down special, I decided to go with Acid Spray. This move actually just works exactly like Piranha Plant Side B. For Grafia's final smash is a smash original, which I like to call Toxic Territory. When activating the final smash, the camera closes in on Grafia and he sees the camera and then slashes away at the screen, leaving the camera completely painted. This works exactly like Bowser Jr.'s final smash, but unlike Bowser Jr.'s final smash, there's also an added attribute if you're getting hit. For one thing, characters will be affected by the paint status, as well as getting poison ailment. Even though Grafia may not be able to give the killing blow, he definitely knows how to handle his opponents. And with that, we have set for Smash Grafia, a character with a lot of different poison based elements who may seem a little too toxic to play as. But in all honesty, it kind of works if you think about it. With Grafia being a poison type Pokemon, not to mention his small stature against many different heavy hitting characters. Grafia has to use everything he can to go against some of the best of the best in the series. Thanks for watching. We finished our first character from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Though Grafia is the least likely to join, I really enjoyed making this moveset concept. Mostly because I feel like there need to be more characters that utilize the poison effect. If you want to see more moveset concepts, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. I also do a lot of other content on this channel, so make sure to check that out as well. Thanks for watching, and tune into the next moveset concept.